Hello, um, welcome. This is something I'm tentatively calling Coffee Break. Reason being is this is a game that was suggested by one of my coffee subscribers, uh, namely the Golden Simpies. Um, thank you very much for the uh, recommendation. This seemed like a really cool, good fit and uh, I figure I'll try this. And I wanted to kind of reset expectations because I've been uh, you know, experimenting here and there and I, I guess I, I figured by flying this under a new series, it makes uh, more sense um, to do these kind of as one-offs. Maybe they'll become a series, maybe they won't, and that way uh, no one's disappointed if I don't continue some doing something. So you could d basically fly uh, Neo Scavenger under a coffee break. Um, I'll probably come back to Neo Scavenger at some point, but yeah, I I, uh, I tend to flake on things occasionally, so I, I feel like doing these things as one-offs makes more sense, and uh, we get to we get an idea of you know what I think of a game real quick and. Uh, you know, you can basically look look at this as a let's try that's sponsored by my coffee subscribers. So, um, anyway, what is this game? <laughs> this is Nises. Nises? Nises, maybe? I don't know. Let's see, um, can we get our character looking as uh, doofy as possible so that they would uh, accurately represent me? It doesn't look... Oh, I see, I'm changing the color on the clothing. Okay, well we want pink, right? I want pink, and uh, let's see if we can't get like some, yeah, I mean that's pretty good, but I'll go through it. Is it with, the, with those cat ears, okay. Oh, there we go, perfect. Was that the first hair? I think it was. <laughs> okay, all right. Um, I mean, that, that looks fine, and then get some, there we go, and uh, yeah, that, that looks that looks more or less like me. This is my name, save name, uh, uh, coffee break. We'll call it coffee break. Okay, world settings, drop materials. So um, as I've un I, I looked a little bit into this game, and um, from what I can tell, it is a little bit like a lot of different games. Uh, there's a little bit of automation in this. There's a little bit of Terraria. There's a little bit of Diablo. There's a lot of things going on. Uh, walk close and hit a tree with the axe by pressing. Okay, so we're gonna we're gonna be chopping down some trees. And you can maybe already see how the Terraria comparisons go. Um, this is going to be one of those games where likely there's a lot of, um, you know, downtime and construction and stuff. So I'll probably have to do a bit of editing here, but that's okay. Um, press E to open our inventory. So here's our inventory. Follow instructions, arrows. Uh, instruction arrows to learn how to chop a tree and craft a torch. Okay. Well, here... No, that's not the torch. Where is the torch? How does one make a torch? Tell me, craft a torch in the crafting menu. Oh, there it is. All right, we done it. We done did it. All right, so we made a torch. Put it down, there it is. Walk close and talk to the elder by right clicking on them. What can I help you with? I am looking for a quest. What a weird way to introduce yourself. If you place a settlement flag, I will find some quests for you. Okay, goodbye. Find or craft a workstation from the inventory crafting. Okay, I done it. There it is. Can we craft a, um, what did that guy just want me to do? He wanted me to make things. Um, then use it by pressing, I guess I, he wanted me to make a flag or something. Crafting guide. We could make a crafting guide. We need leather. You need leather to make a crafting guide? Bizarre. Um, so we have a lot of, I, I do recognize quite a lot of this stuff from other games for sure. Uh, not a bad thing, by the way. Also, I should, uh, you know, set expectations here. This game is $7 Canadian, so it's probably like $5. Um, that's just kind of like really absurdly cheap. I, the way I see it, if a game is like $7 or less, then if it works, it's probably worth it. <laughs> I know that's... Maybe, maybe I'm alone in that. That's fine. I don't mind being alone. Sign... Uh, find and craft a wood pickaxe. Okay, we're not we're not doing anything like making flags yet. Okay. Walk close to and okay, we're going we're going to our mine. Let's go to our mine. Ooh, we're generating a mine. Ooh, okay. 
Um, let's put the this torch and uh, can I hold shift? Yeah, you can hold shift to move things in your inventory. I always appreciate it when that's a feature. Let's place some, down some torches. This will be a, a welcome uh, addition uh, since I've been doing a lot of um, vintage story lately. It'll be, you know, people, I think people will appreciate something like this. I appreciate a, you know, a good game with downtime. You know, like it, it, it seems to me there's a lot of games that really just want you to make a career out of that game. Um, so I, I appreciate it when it's just like, yeah, just like go ahead and go and mine some stuff. And like, I really don't believe in the whole like, if it has mining in it, then it's it's a Minecraft clone. I can't, I still don't understand why that was a thing. When Terraria was like coming, I was like, oh, this looks like two dimensional 2D Minecraft. Like what? I don't, I don't see it myself. I don't know. People get weird. When it comes to like things having mechanics from you know that are represented in other games, um, they can get very strange right away. Like, if you like a mechanic, then what does it matter if uh, if something borrows it? So long as it's doing other original things. Like my my general philosophy when it comes to games is if it's doing one or two original things, um, and in order to you know have a vehicle for those kind of those new mechanics it uh, acquires borrowing or like repackaging other mechanics then I don't think that's necessarily a bad thing and I think that a lot of popular games or you know trendy games do that and people will like be cool with it um so long as it's packaged correctly you know like what is that new game called vampire or something not vampire survivors uh, there's a, there's a new, like, buildy, crafty, explorey, survivory game. And it's like, you know, personally, I just like, wow, that game looks like a million games I've seen already, except you're a vampire this time. But, you know, it's, it's doing very well for itself, and why not, right? If it's, uh, if it's, if it's good, if it feels well polished, if it feels well executed, then why not just you know, repackage some... Uh oh Gobbos! Gobbos! No, what is that? Is that a zombie? Oh my god. Okay, so we got some combat going on here. I definitely see the Terraria comparisons. I don't mind that at all. Just for the record. I like Terraria a lot. It's actually one of my favorite games. I wanted to do a Terraria series. Um... I've mentioned this, I don't know, like, people will probably, maybe not remember, but I did a, uh, I did a stream highlight once, and it included, um, my ambitions, me mentioning my ambitions to make a Minecraft series, and then I mentioned having gotten over it, but, um, you know, without even realizing it, I've done 25 episodes of basically Minecraft. Now, I maintain that Vintage Story is very different from minecraft but it's you know it's the same basic stuff i think like if you know, most a lot of people who enjoy vintage story probably also enjoy minecraft or have done at some point or another um i think that a lot of people who really enjoy vintage story are um have opinions about minecraft and um myself included that you know that it's it could it could have done things differently not saying better just saying differently um so it's it's interesting to me you know like I, when different games do things differently um it's you know you can you can have preferences for for different executions so honestly does it really matter if a game like copies i i i, I do not want the spider to exist anymore. Goodbye, spider. Uh, does it really matter if a game feels like similar to another game? As long, like this is top down. I know that doesn't necessarily mean that it's, you know, that different from Terraria. And it's already doing some things that I, I think are, are pretty novel. Um, I, honestly, I'm already kind of getting into this whole exploration thing. I think the, you know, the thing that Terraria really does... I saw um, a thread on 
on Twitter or something that was talking about um, people being hungry for games with just an absurd amount of content. You know, like, don't that, that just don't care about balance as much as they care about just having an absurd amount of content and like a ridiculous amount of stuff to do and uh you know the the, the main example was elden ring is like um elden ring shows that people are hungry for um a vast experience you know something that just offers so much to do and you know like one would uh, be tempted to, to compare to other open world games. But I think that a lot of open world games are really lacking <laughs> in stuff to do. You know, and what I mean by that is it's just like variety. Like they don't have that, they don't have that same kind of vast uh, girth of content. I hate using that word, but it's accurate. It's just like, you know, I don't. I think if you shotgun blast a game with game mechanics, I think I can't uh, pick this yet. Maybe ores are used to craft bars, which are used in many recipes throughout the game. I think we're gonna we're gonna leave. I think when the um, a game is like shotgun blasted with a bazillion um, different mechanics, um, y you know. It, there's a there's a very high chance for success. That looks like a pressure plate. I don't think I want to step in there because I'm almost dead. Because, you know, if there are some mechanics you don't like, you can always ignore those mechanics, right? Let me click on next here. If you travel out in the water to the edge of the map, you will be able to go to other islands. Islands have different biomes and features like dungeons and villages. Press N to browse world map. Really? Oh, cool. Hmm. I will say, I think that the... I wish this map was done a little bit differently. It's very grid-like. Um, so it just feels like, okay, there's just like, you know, a bunch of island, uh, like, gr you know, I don't know how to put it. Just like different worlds around me. I almost feel like it, I, I, I wish it was more like a, a cohesive world. But, you know, nitpicking. So... Can we... Is that the end of the tutorial? My goodness, okay. Can we... How do we make bars? Oh, there's a zombie foot. Gold bar. Gold bar worm bait. What is that? Oh, that's a cow. I thought that was like a vampire or something. Um... Oh, this is a gold bar that I have. Okay, we, we want to craft. I think. Crafting filters. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Workstation. I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit confused by... Ouch! No! Thank you. Thank you, kind stranger. Um... I'm a little bit confused by the interface. Can Oh, I can expand it. Nice. Okay, cool. I want to make some bars. Oh, no. I want to make a forge. There we go. We've made a forge. No, 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 I need that. All right, let's put this. I guess I, well, I should build my own house. I was just thinking, oh, I could uh, place it inside this house, but this is not my house. There's a recall scroll. Okay, so we are, we need wood for fuel, and then we need, well, iron, so that's going. Okay, so that's 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 kind of cool. From what I've uh, so when I what I saw on the the Steam page for this game, um, you can like tell uh, people like you can get a village going and tell people to do stuff for you, which is interesting. And that's like a you know this is an interesting kind of like direction from like um, Terraria where it's like okay yeah you you have people and you basically have to take care of them and in return they will offer things they'll 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 sell you stuff and you know they're they're valuable and uh i really liked the last update that uh was a thing for terraria which was that eventually if you give them their own home and their preferred biome um you can use them as 
uh, fast travel teleports. I think that was just amazing. That was such a that was such a great idea, and I I, I seriously loved that. Um, but so we we apparently we can make better or different use of the uh, of the villagers in this game. So I have this crafting guide. This is truly <laughs> a useless guide, I have to say. That is the most pointless guide I think I've ever seen. Okay, oh, ouch, ouchies. All right. Um, I might wanna use a potion. Let's use a potion. Hey, look, oh, 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 this dude is being chased down by an entire little swarm of zombies there. Yo, my dude. Why, why are you invoking the ire of the entire zombie nation? Um, why do I need to pull this out in order for this to keep going? 80%. Oh, do I not have enough fuel? Alright, let's chop down some more tree. Chop down some more tree for forge. got to replant your 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 saplings. If you don't replant your saplings, you're banned from my server. Okay? One day I would like to do something multiplayer, maybe with my coffee subs. That would be kind of fun and uh, you know, uh, I I like to I would you know, I've been I've been neglecting the 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 coffee subs. What is happening here? Keep running. Do it. Don't let your dreams be dreams. Why? Why is this not working? I don't understand. Why aren't you doing it? Cost, oh, four iron. I don't have enough iron. That's what's up. All right, so we get, we're gonna make some copper. Copper, copper crafting. Do it. It is becoming the daytime, which is the good because I was getting kind of fed up with that darkness. So yeah, I was thinking, um, you know, people have been asking me, uh, at least on stream, which you should absolutely join me on stream Tuesdays, 12 p.m. EST. We have a great time. We just started an anime game. <laughs> you will not enjoy it. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, been been asking me like, oh, Vintage Story is multiplayer. We should uh, we should do some multiplayer. Vintage Story, Vintage Story multiplayer. Why not? Let's do it. Um, I don't think I would do like my main. My, my series world multiplayer, but I'd be open to something, uh, you know, like a little mini series or something. That'd be fun. What's that? Rabbit leg. Don't mind the construction sounds behind me. That's, uh, that's just where I live all the time, always and forever. Can we, do we cook? This guy is new. Toby's the hunter. Uh, are you rich or poor? <laughs> what a strange way to announce yourself. Uh, will you join my settlement? I will join you your settlement for 25 wool and coins. Wow, that's interesting. What can you do? I can help around your settlement with hauling, crafting, forestry, farming, hunting. Wow, okay. Seems cool. I wanna buy something. So they'll sell me um, this. Iron bow. I have 725 coins, so I could buy it. Yeah, sure, let's buy it. Why not? I have a bow now. Nice. Um, I could buy. I could build or craft some iron arrows, or I could just buy them. This guy will also sell me some ninja stars. I'm gonna. I'm gonna buy a bunch of iron arrows so I don't base I basically never have to worry about iron arrows again I so I, I just spent all my money on ar iron arrows maybe that was a bad idea I don't care so how does one oh I didn't mean to do that I'm sorry sheep I'm so sorry I don't want to kill you I didn't mean to do that I'm sorry uh, I don't know how to shear the sheep I probably what was it two iron bars in uh, diagonally placed in the crafting station here 
I just did it. I just, I just did what I, like, already accused others of doing is, uh, <laughs> every, every, anything that has crafting in it is just Minecraft again. Uh, all right. So where is what? What, what can we make? Settlement flag. Oh. Any stone and ten bars and a thousand coins. Well, now I really wish I'd saved my money. Oops. Spider helmet. That sounds awful. I am seeing more and more comparisons to Terraria. Namely, um, the how we like craft things. Logic wire. Okay, so yeah. Minecart track. Logic gates. Okay, so you can make a calculator in, the, in this game. I, I don't understand the like compulsion to add logic to like every san sandbox game. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying I don't understand it. I understand it in, you know, in some some games like uh, you know, obviously a game like uh, Oxygen not included makes a lot of sense. Like that game is a logic game basically. Um okay, so is this a pressure plate? Ouch. Yes. Ow. Ow. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. I should have seen that coming, actually. Aerotrap landed a fatal shot on Big Simple, and then he died. Ha ha ha. Noob. Um. I wonder if, uh. I don't think they do, but I wonder if items have, uh, durability. So if I get rid of that, then this does nothing. I suppose um, adding logic to a game is an easy way of setting things up like this, like traps and stuff. So what do we get? Nimble shine belt crafting. Okay, I'm just gonna grab everything because I'm I'm gonna be zombied in a minute. Got some iron ore. Um, I think I just want to do some more exploring. I have a bow now and it's actually pretty good i never got into bows in terraria um i don't know why not i i, I prefer either the yo-yos or like guns <laughs> terraria you know really when you break it down or describe it to anybody is a very strange game <laughs> what's your favorite weapon in terraria uh the mini shark what is that it's a gatling gun made out of a shark amazing All right, there's lots of lots to explore here, which is nice. G really good when these kind of sandbox games actually have stuff to do and explore, and not just like you know, go and make your own fun. What I don't like is when the when the sandbox games are heavily reliant on PvP to for fun, like um, not to name names, but uh, Space Engineers. If you heard a game like Space Engineers, where you build spaceships, would you think PvP game? I know there's, like, you can play it like a sandbox game and, and have a lot of fun in it, but I, as I, like, every time I look at it, it seems like every update is very heavily skewed towards uh, PvP. Like, we just added a bunch of weapons. What do I do with weapons? You fight other players? Well, that just sounds like I'm making, like, I have to, I have to now organize things. Like, I have to go and find friends who want to also build a spaceship and then fight me. Um, why do I- do I have flaming arrows? When did that happen? Am I just using up the arrows in the order that they appear in my inventory? Map fragment? Ooh. Neato Skeeto, um... Can we, uh, I wonder what that's for. Yo, this sword is actually pretty top-notch. Ninja Star, more flaming arrows. I'm trying to find enough iron and then I can make maybe the anvil. Also finding some coinage, which is good because I'm gonna need some coinage. I wonder if I need a, a mine cart in order to ride. Lots of stuff over here. Oh, and another, you know what, I, sh I meant to look at that. Nimble shine belt, crafting material, tinker slot, lights up the area around you. 
How do, can I just right click this? Yes. Solid. Yo, spider, I don't like you, buddy. Like, it, like the spider keeps sneaking up on me for some reason. Like, I don't think it's gonna hurt me, but it's just like, I don't like it. I think this zombie is trying to break through the wall. Okay, let's see what's in here. We got another shine belt, not not as good. Attack speed, crap, copper bar, lots of copper bars. Recall, adamant uh, enchantment scroll. Ooh, lots of damage, not as good knockback. Attack speed. Um, transfer all to inventory. No, that's not what I wanted at all. Loot all to inventory, okay. We got a broken iron tool. Crafting material can be melted down or sold. I like that. I appreciate when um, like metal uh, weapons and stuff can be repurposed. Although I think that's just like uh, meant to be a prize thing. I kind of wish in uh, Vintage Story you could like repurpose tools. Like maybe as they're about to break, you could get some of your metal back. Not a lot. I wouldn't. I would accept. You know, like you could make it uh, equal to the amount of durability that's left, like percentage wise. Like. If there's 10% of the weapon left, then you get 10% of the copper or iron or whatever back. Maybe that's not, maybe, I mean, maybe you make it more worth it than that. You get 10% plus 10% back. So you get whatever the durability plus 10%. So it would be worth um, smelting down your old tools and weapons and stuff. I think that would be nice. Because, you know, I, I appreciate how that game, like, abstracts reality, and uh, so it would make it would make some sense to give have a purpose for that. So that down there looks very menacing. I'm getting hungry. Um, that makes sense. I didn't think there was food in this game. Uh, crafting material can be consumed. Nutrition 10. Calls for a powerful creature. Okay. Maybe we'll do that. Um, before I end this, I, I was about to say episode, but I, I don't know. There's a vinyl, <laughs> so I have some uh, music to play. All right, let's uh, let's smelt our stuff. We can only make two iron bars. I don't think that's enough to make a smithy. Map fragment. Combine two for a map. Well, good news. I have a map. Um, used to find village islands around you. Cost two map fragments or a local dungeon. Used to find islands around you. Interesting. I think I'll make a local village map. So I use it. Map shows northeast of your location. So that's a desert village. I've discovered that village. Cool. Um, I'm gonna do it. Can I use this to cook food? I was gonna try that last time. Doesn't look like. Oh no! Wait, there's a there's a thing right there. Okay. Roasted rabbit leg. Needs fuel, right? Um, actually, we'll put in a very small amount of food. All right, give me that. Yummy. What is this? Oh, wooden arrow trap. Okay, so we're gonna eat this. Yum. I'm not sure how one would get more food. Broken, okay, so it can be melted down or sold. So how does one melt it down? Oh, okay, just like that. Seems to me you get uh, more materials from a broken weapon than you do from like, oh wow, two copper bars? Was not expecting two of them. Um, than you do from the actual ore. But that, I guess that makes sense because the ore has a lot of junk in it, you know? Like when you smelt ore in real life, you have to scrape a lot of the, the crud. There's a lot of crud in ore. Um, and so you, you have to kind of like refine it. And if you, the, the hot, like you smelt it pretty hot because you want the crud to kind of float to the top and then you can scrape it out and then kind of purify the ore, I think. I might be completely off on that. 
Um, we got more broken tools. Are these iron tools? Oh, nice. That's actually fantastic. So let's see how much we get from this. We can sell these as well, remember? Crafting. We can also maybe make something out of these shine belts. Yeah, we're going to get a lot of iron from these tools. I wonder if this game has leveling up. I seem to recall in the Steam page maybe there is. Okay, so there's a carpenter's bench. Not sure what that's about. But I... Ooh. So that costs five iron bars, which I just have now. Or I can make an iron anvil. I think I do want to make an iron anvil. So with this, we can make we can actually make some better tools. Um, so let's go ahead and do that. Oh, wow, these are expensive. Well, that makes sense, right? Um, so let's make a... What's a shovel for? I wonder. I could do a sword or copper spear. I'm kind of tempted on the spear, but I'm going to make the sword. I know the sword, you know? And then I'm going to make a pickaxe. I don't know if this uh, has better ability, like better picking ability. Some of this armor does actually look very familiar from uh, Terrario. I'll, uh, I'll buy these co copper boots or and then uh, and equip them. And um, we also want to make a storage crate because we're starting to... I know, listen, if I was actually making a series, I would make a home and stuff. So I, I, I like I do understand that this is probably irking someone's, uh, you know, sensibilities. And I, I agree. This, this is like really... Just think of it as open concept, you know? Okay, so... Um, we can throw our stone in there. I wonder how much it costs to make a uh, music player. We need... Oh, that's an alchemy table. Demonic workstation. Wow, there's some interesting stuff going on in this game. Stone wall. Stone door. I want to make some floor. Snow stone. Uh, stone floor. I want to I make um, an open concept workplace. So we're gonna buy a couple of these. This is as much as you're gonna get from me in terms of uh, creative, you know, creativity in, in this game. There we go. Look at that, look at that open concept house. Very, very, uh, like, generous with the term house right there. Whoa, we can make a grain mill. That's really cool. I always love it when you can make a grain mill. I don't I know this that's weird, but I, I like it. Oh, and you can make an LED. So you could basically you could probably make a TV. Can be used to fill out water. Oh interesting. You could you could basic probably make like a YouTube video player in this game. Plus one travel distance. Okay, well we gotta try some uh, you know, be a bit more ambitious because I wanna see what what this game has you know promise. Um I really probably need to make get some more food. So let's do a bit of exploring. Can I don't know, check out some of this stuff like fire mo fire money can be placed in flower pot. Okay. I want to um Where's our boat? Okay. So I'm assuming this is the edge. We're going to use it. We're going to travel away. Oh, I like how fast we travel on the boat. That's really cool. Travel east. Can we travel northeast? Because that's where the other village is. I like that there's a little bit of a... Um, I don't know. I don't know how to put it, but your your boat travels a little bit, you know. When you're when you stop, you don't stop right away. Travel northeast, perfect. I want to go here. All right. So this is a desert village. I'm interested to see what uh, what stuff we have here. Can we use our boat? We can use our boat. 
I, uh, you know, I feel bad about killing those turtles. I, uh, I, I, I thought maybe I would get some food from them, but no. In fact. So I wonder if, um, I'm going to get my boat back once I land here. Um, how do I get out of the boat? Oh, F? Oh, except I just happened. Yeah, well, good thing I get my boat back because, or I don't, it doesn't destroy my boat because that would have been bad. All right. Okay, remember where we're parked. Let's check this out. We got some people. I wonder if I can ask them to join my village. Will you join my settlement? Uh, it'll cost me 132 coins. How much do I have? Oh, I have enough, but I don't have enough leather. What can you do? Hauling, crafting, forestry, farming. Wow. So this is the problem with these kind of games in terms of doing a, a video series on it is I'm definitely not going to be able to scratch the surface on this at all. It would take me some like real in-game time or real lifetime to uh, grind up enough materials to like see what some of these, um, you know, what some of the village mechanic or villager mechanics look like. Um, this guy requires all kinds of things. Maybe we can, like, get really lucky and find a villager who, like, oh, I would like a hundred arrows, iron arrows, specifically. Oh, this guy's not bad, but, yeah, I, I used up all my materials. Um, growing your hair is not a superpower. Will you join my settlement? I want to stay here for now. Okay. Oh, cool that they, that some of them do that. I wouldn't mind buying some stuff, but I noticed there's a dungeon here, so why don't we check out the dungeon and see if, uh, I guess just an underground. I shouldn't say dungeon. Let's see, uh, so I cast a little bit of light now because of my belt. So I have a resistance potion. I could take that. Can be consumed. Increases health regeneration. Attack speed potion. Five minutes duration. Let's take this resistance potion. So what is that? Oh, it's a ghost. Spooky ghost. Uh, sorry. No, not ghost. Sand spirit. Spooky ghost. Um. So, okay, I see some stuff down there. Does, is this pickaxe going to cut it? It, it looks like no. It looks like I, I don't have a good enough pickaxe to break this sandstone. Which sucks because that means I'm not going to be able to break this trap, right? Oh, never mind. I'm good. Cactus shield. Nice. Speed potion. Gold bar. Lots of gold bars. Ancient statue. Calls for an ancient creature. Must be used in desert biome. Well, maybe we could do that. I am really interested in some of the stuff though. There's like a whole bunch of lava and stuff. But it really, it seems to me that I cannot break this sandstone down. Game, um, this part at least gives me uh, some of the Stardew Valley vibes. Maybe I, I, I probably need a tougher pickaxe, probably an iron one. Oh. Oh, that's a mummy. Okay, well, we can't really do much else here. What I should do, I wonder if I can recall. Um, yeah, I'm gonna use this. I know that means we lose our boat. That's fine. Um, I can always make another boat. The reason I wanna do this is because I kinda wanna see what one of the bosses look like. Used to enchant a melee weapon with harmful single use. Um, let's use this, actually. Oops. How does one use it? Oh. Let's use this on our sword. Nice. Um, and we- oh. Okay. Can I put another one on? No, I can't. So I just undid the other enchantment. Oh, well. That happens. 
Um, so I do have a mysterious portal. I wonder if this can be used in daytime. Yeah, okay. So definitely see some of the, uh, I got a map fragment. Some of the <laughs> comparisons to Terraria. Um, and you know what? That's fine. I, I'm totally fine with that. Um, we're gonna throw that in there. We have some gold bars now. I wonder if we can do anything with gold at the iron, the, the anvil. We can make some stuff. I'm gonna need some iron to make a pickaxe, I think, at some point. Throw our wooden tools in there. I do think this game has um, online multiplayer. This is something I'm gonna confirm for you now. It does. So that's kind of fun. I, I think that this game would, would definitely benefit from something like that. Crafting material. I'm wondering if I can make anything out of that. I can make a fishing rod. Roasting station. I wonder what that's all about. Um, I probably... You know what it, I could do is I could go and kill some cows. Uh, I'm, sh I, I'm sure that... I think this game does have animal hus husbandry. So um, my general, you know, way of doing these th these things is I don't like to kill the local animals because eventually uh, I'm gonna wanna, you know, corral them. And corralling animals is always much more difficult if you've killed the all of the animals that are near you, you know? Okay, so we get worms by um, cutting grass. I'm starving. I think that's why we're moving slower now. Okay, let's eat some apples. Hungry for apples. God, remember that. Blueberry. Blueberry, blueberry. It says crafting material. I bet we can uh, make blueberry pie. All right, let's, uh, let's use this mysterious portal. Evil's protector. Ouch. Ouch. I don't think I can really avoid those attacks. But you know what I can do is I can use a potion. Combat regen. Okay. This is gonna take a while. You know what? I shouldn't be doing melee. I should uh, use my arrow, my, my bows. Damn, I'm not doing a good job of avoiding those, am I? Okay, it's flying away. I should use my resistance potion. Uh, oh no, it shot an extra one. I wonder if I have a time limit here. Also, if I die, I wonder if that's that. Where are these extra... Damn it. Okay, yeah, so it's exactly like Terraria. If you don't kill it in one go, then then uh, you lose your chance, and now I have to go get another thing. Well, that's kind of a bummer, but, you know, it makes sense. Um... Well, we saw a boss anyway. Let me, I'm gonna, I wanna buy a, we need a sapling for a fishing rod. That oddly makes sense to me. Uh, seems I have no materials. Did I lose some of my stuff? Right, I did, of course. That makes sense. All right, I'm gonna make a fishing rod. And we're gonna try the fishing mini game. Cause you gotta try the fishing mini game. If there is one. Okay. There we go. We got a fur fish, which is a crafting material. Can I cook it? Uh, roasted fish can be consumed. Any common fish. So I got very lucky slash unlucky and got a uh, uncommon fish. 
So this is a crafting. Oh, you dude. I guess it. Well, you can move around while we're fishing, which is kind of interesting. We got another fur fish. What's a uh, what's up with getting fur fishes? I tried to deflect the arrows like a Jedi, but I I, I missed. Oh no, I missed. All right, last fish. Come on, give me a give me a common fish. Yeah, that's a salmon. Uh, is that good enough? Yes, it is. All right. We ate a fish, and that gives us extra attack speed. That makes sense. That doesn't really make sense, but you know, it, it makes sense. Uh, can we plant these seeds? No, we need uh, a, a thing. Okay. Well, um, I think that that's gonna do it for this. I know that that's, you know, I haven't really done or accomplished a lot, but it's, uh, or, you know, you consider this, you can consider this like a let's try. And, uh, you know, if there's call for more of this, then I would certainly consider doing a series. Um, but, you know, I'm glad I got to try this. I think, I think this is a really cool game. Um, I would definitely like to, uh, probably, I, I wonder if this game is good on the Steam Deck, because then I could, I could play this in my off time. In some ways, I actually like this more than, uh, was it Core Keeper? was a game that was like flavor of the month for a bit. I did try that game and I thought it was okay, but um, in some ways I like this more. I, I, something about it just mechanically feels a bit more fleshed out than Core Keeper. Um, and weirdly less linear. I don't know.